And a pleasant Merry Christmas and good morning to you all. Coming to you from not Key West, but a Claremont, Florida version of the buoy in Key West. One more day in the parks today, guys. One more Christmas day and then, uh, then we can open presents, yeah. Thanks for joining me everyone. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. You'll find a link below in the video description. We're going to Hollywood Studios. Come on with me, it's has some fun. Oh my, winter has hit Florida finally. It's only gonna be 67 degrees today. Chilly. Love all the Christmas decorations here at Hollywood Studios. Don't see their Christmas tree yet, but let's get inside. Hey there. Yep. Thank you. All right, just got in the park and like the other three parks, I purchased a $19 Genie Plus Lightning Lane, skip the line pass for myself today so I can do everything. And unless they have it over on Sunset Boulevard, I am not seeing a big Christmas tree like the other three parks here. Just a bunch of uh, smaller Christmas trees. All right, so right off the bat, um, Rise of the Resistance right there, 155 minute wait already, no longer a virtual queue. It is also not included in my Genie Plus that I just purchased for $19 extra. They want me to pay an additional $12 to ride it but we'll get to that later because I'll probably do it anyway later or I'll see if the wait times go down. But first, let's head over to Toy Story Land first. Oh, I need to make a lightning lane. Straight ahead, we got Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I love that newer attraction. I already drank enough coffee on the way over here, so went to Joffrey's for something else. Love my strawberry pink frosting Homer donuts. Great start to the day. Mm -hmm. All right, and the sun just started peeking through some of the scattered clouds here as we enter Toy Story Land. Well, we don't wait in lines. We skip lines with Lightning Lane, Genie Plus. Look at that line, guys. Look at that line. Not me skipping the line, skipping the line, skipping the line. Oh look, I found the Christmas tree here in Hollywood Studios on the lake. A dinosaur with a Christmas hat on over there. Love it. And I already got my first uh, popcorn refill for $2.25 and Coke Zero. Oh, okay. Didn't know that boat moves. All right, a 90 minute wait here on Runaway Railway and I have a Genie Lightning Lane Pass. Just skip the line and get in this lane right here. Let's do it.
good with that one. Same technology as Rise of the Resistance and Ratatouille with the trackless thing that, that changes. Like it could change every single time you go on it. It's pretty cool. And my lunch reservations here at the beautiful Sci-Fi Dine-In. The only place in the park I could get a reservation 60 days out for lunch. Let's go. Just waiting for my name to be called. It's cool back here because it's like the back lot. It's like being backstage in the set. It's pretty cool. Yeah, guys, quite possibly the quirkiest restaurant in all of Disney World. We're gonna eat in cars. So this takes place like in the 1950s, right? So we're at a, we're at a drive-in and we're gonna eat out of these old cars with lights and stuff, tables, ketchup, old uh, speaker boxes there. And we're gonna watch old cartoons and films on the screen while we eat and drink. It is by far one of the coolest things. And if you ever get a chance to be here, it is so cool. It's only half full right now. There's the front of the cars. <laughs> it's awesome. And I went with the Sam Adams seasonal there for lunch. Ah, yeah. I got the bacon cheeseburger and the french fries there. It's really dark in here. It's almost that time, but I feel like before we head over into Galaxy's Edge, Star Wars land, something first. We have to go to Star Tours first with this huge at-at out front. Yes, and then, and then we can go into Star Wars land. about to go in to Star Wars land. Unlike Animal Kingdom, where all the beer comes out of a bottle, they got draft. Draft beer here in Hollywood Studios. I like that. What kind of space trouble can we get into? <laughs> uh, no popcorn at this specific station, but it's all Coca-Cola themed space with the cool bottles. I have to come back and get one later. There's uh, Ronto Roasters right in front of us there for food and stuff. Yeah, here's the land. Nice day. We got some space buggies over here. Oh, I like that one. I'm gonna tow that behind the RV. <laughs> Everybody testing out their R2D2 drones. They got a TIE fighter over here on display. Uh, Luke Skywalker milk over there, but I still got half a beer, so I'll have to come back. All right, and there's that Millennium Falcon off to our right here. Looking glorious there, needs some sunshine. But yeah, it is nice that this part of the park has slowed down. When it was popular, when it first opened, it was ridiculous here. Now it's normal. Now it's back to normal. Let's get up close here. I think that's where Han Solo sits up there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, we are underneath the Millennium Falcon, guys. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's see. We got the Smuggler's Run ride over here, and I am waiting for my turn to go on Rise of Resistance, so I'm going to go get in this line and go do this one.
awesome sauce. My Bonine is really working today. It's time to go over to Rise of Resistance now. Figure we'll uh, at least take the scenic route over because this land is worth it. You'll never find a more villainous pile of scum and, you know, how, however it goes. Yeah. I wonder what kind of creatures we got in these cages. We don't see anything. All right, let's get out of here. that ride. Well, now that I've done the um, Guardians of the Galaxy, compared to this, coaster versus a trackless ride, what do I think? I did give Cosmic Rewind number one in the park, but best ride is still Rise of the Resistance. All right, now I'll go for a Luke Skywalker's Blue Milk. Looks delicious. Let's try it. Because I did the green milk last time. I'm gonna do the blue one. The great thing is it's got that spaceship shelf quality, shelf life. Yeah. Such a weird drink. I wanna try some new Star Wars drinks. So over here at Docking Bay 7, waiting to get an order there. Uh, it's a sit down restaurant, but you can do takeout. Mobile order only. Yeah, I couldn't get a table, but just, just wanted to get a quick drink. We'll see what they got over here. Never been in here. That's kind of cool. Smells really good. Food and drinks. Uh, this is what you can have. Okay. Or that's what you can have. Yeah, I don't need any decorations. All right, this green beautiful thing is the Taco Donna Quencher. It's got Bacardi, Dragonberry Rum, Blue Caracho, Simply Orange with Pineapple, and Kiwi. Yum. Ooh, it's packed with intergalactic deliciousness. Mmm. Mmm. That is my favorite Star Wars drink yet. So, I could be waiting in a long, long line right now instead of just enjoying my time at Disney World. That's why we're going to make a change. Because the last two things I want to go on, Aerosmith's Rock and Roll Coaster and Tower of Terror, have wait times of 155 minutes and 160 minutes. 315 minutes total, five and a half hours, only in line. That's past when the park is open, just standing in line to get the last two done. And because I've done them before, and because I'm having a good day, I'm not gonna sit in line for five and a half hours. I'm gonna enjoy my time at Disney World. Olga's Cantina here, and I got a, a corner table right here. It's gonna be cool in here. Just ordered the Besbin Fizz. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Pretty cool. Wow, it's still doing it. I know. Do I, okay. We were drinking out of it. <laughs> I, I, I guess you just go for it. Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's good, guys. It is good, yeah. It's real tasty. It's not boiling, it's just bubbly. Yeah, it's bubbly. It's like yeah. dry ice. We got music over there, too. I don't think I know this DJ. But he's jamming up there. Nice. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. 
Look at this flight, guys. Look at this flight. Yes. Yes, I love it. Oh, where do we start here? It's a souvenir. You get to keep this big flight board and the teeth cups. What an awesome souvenir. We got the Gold Squadron Lager, the Trandashan Ale, the Bad Motivator IPA, and the Gamorrean Ale. I'm gonna start with the Gamorrean Ale. I love the little tooth cups. That's awesome. <laughs> ah, that one's tasty. Try all four of them real quick and sample them. Okay, okay. So tell me which is your favorite. Okay, so we're going with the first one. Nope, third one. The third one. The Trandashan Ale is my favorite. All right, I don't know if that is a Jabba the Hutt baby in that cage up there or what's going on. He doesn't look happy, does he? All right, this place has turned over at least twice since I've been here, but I, I'm enjoying it. One more, one more. All right, a fuzzy Tauntaun. Thank you. She walked away and said the foam on top is not humanoid, whatever that means. Tickles. Water. Tickles. Ooh. Ooh. So how do they keep that place moving and keep people from just staying there forever like me and might want to do? Well, there's no bathrooms at Oga's Cantina, so you have to leave. You have to leave eventually. I, I'm really excited about my souvenir, guys. I have a couple plans and ideas for using this thing, this flight beer with the tooth cups. So um, more on that when I get back to my property in Arizona. It's Christmas time and I want to get back to those fuzzy butts. So I'm going to get back on Disney transportation and head back to the campground and go see those kitties. It's quiet in here. I'm trying to find those kitties. They're not playing with the tree. Oh, it looks like Opie got the tree bed. You scored it, huh? You're not going to give it to the girl? You're supposed to give it to the girl. Hi, Opie. You excited about Christmas? Tara Bear. Are you excited about Christmas? Man, Opie took my spot. Oh, look, he just gave it up. He did. He said, okay, sister, you can have it. How about that, Tara? How about that, girl? All right. Missed you guys. I did. I missed you guys. <sighs> Thank goodness for Disney transportation and I don't have to worry about driving back. I haven't driven tater tot in over a week now. But it's awesome. I'm having fun, man. It's Christmas. It's a good Christmas for me. I'm, I'm happy to share it with y'all. I'm just a little relieved to be done in the parks. Am I done in the parks? Well, more on that later, actually. Let me plan my next video and I'll get back to you on Christmas Eve. Y'all be well. Bye-bye. <laughs>